One shot, one kill, no exceptions. Yeah. Today we're looking at the Marine Corps Scout Sniper based on the movie, The Sniper. Yep, out from Damp Toys. Here's the box. You guys take a look at it. Right there, not a lot of artwork you got going on there. Just on the top, but let's stop the talk and let's go see the action. All right, take a look at that head sculpt, man. What is it, Tom Berridge I seen? I saw people talking about that it was Lurch from the Atlas right. family. But it's it's kind of damn toys. You know how they do. They do their little comic-esque type head sculpt. I don't see a comic-esque type head sculpt on that. Right? It's so, not as bad as the damn toys like the gang, Gangster Kingdoms, I, I don't but know. it's a little bit of mixture. I, I, I think guess it's, it's a mixture. I think this is a pretty good head sculpt. I don't know. There's something off I've to me about it. I've seen these pro magnum guys. You about your football team in high school. Yeah, we, right, or a cop. We went 0 and 8, so we didn't have any of those guys. Maybe we'd have done a little bit better. This guy, this Neanderthal looking guy, is is exactly. Uh, look at that. He could be playing football. Yeah, man. I, I don't know. I just, to me, it's something, something's a little bit off. It's, it's nice, but it's just something's I off like on that. It. And then you got the uh, woodland camo, the U.S. Marine Corps patch on the uh, left hand side that's really nicely done. It's a little bit. The top's not weathered as much as the bottom, as you'll see, but definitely the. Uh, the jungle boots, you got some good weathering going on down Again, there. Again, I disagree with you twice so far. There's some it's nice weathering up on that sleeve there. That's well, as as you go down, it does. It's well, I'm kind of thinking they did it like if he was walking through the mud, he would you know get up and no, no doubt. Yeah, I like it. I think it's good. Eric two Roscoe zero. All right, and then you got your two canteens. You're gonna have should have had that flipped around there. The Alice clips on both that and the butt pack. You like the butt pack. Oh, or... no doubt. You got a couple more pouches, the knife. You got the tactical watch right there. Nice little piece. What makes it a tactical watch? It's because it's going to go on him, so he's tactical driven. All right, and you got the uh, 1911 pistol right there with the holster. You can have a couple smoke grenades. All right, and then there's Nomax gloves. You got the little scarf bandana type thing there. All right, and now just so you guys are aware, they, it does not come with two bodies, but it will come with two heads. You got the sniper head. We'll show you a little bit of close up here in a second of what that is. All right, and then he also comes with that M40 sniper rifle. It's a camo. Let's take a look at that guy right there. It's pretty nice. Nice done. Nice paint job on that. Got the coordinates on your uh, flip up right there. That's nice. And well, let's take a look. Like I said, once again, the suit does come with them, but the body will not. So you're only going to get the head. It's got a nice camo markings on his face. It's really nicely done again. In the back of his uh, suit right there, lightly weathered as well. And then he's going to come with the uh, cap and the sniper vest with the belt. And then it comes with a bunch of stuff with the ghillie suit. You can add as much as you want. It does come with instructions, so if you guys aren't familiar with it, how to get all that attached and stuff like that, don't worry. It does come with a whole booklet on showing you how to do it. So they, they did a really nice job with that, adding that in there. Woo! Man, this figure, the more you look at that ghillie suit is amazing. I'll tell you what, you're going to be impressed when you get to see it firsthand. Big thanks to Castle Collectibles, Kane and Alex. Thank you for getting this a little bit early. Till next time, guys, down the box.